Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our beginners video series on Windows Server 2022 here on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure a Radius server with NPS on Windows Server 2022. In Windows, Radius servers are implemented through Network Policy Server. The NPS rule implements the Radius server function and allow you to authenticate remote clients against Active Directory. NPS allows the creation of access policies for connection request. When we deploy NPS as a Radius server, NPS performs authentication, authorization and accounting for connection request for the local Active Directory domain. Windows servers with Radius forwards connecting user authentication request to Active Directory domain controller which performs user authentication. Therefore, the presence of an on-premises Active Directory is a mandatory requirement before the start of an NPS deployment. In this video, we want to set up a Radius server for wireless access point. First, let's understand the test lab we will use in this video. We have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. Let's go to our member server. This server is joined to our Active Directory domain. Remember that this server is also set up as an Enterprise Root Certification Authority. We want to install and configure the Network Policy Server role on this server to use it as a Radius server. In the first step, we will install the Network Policy Server role on this Windows Server 2022. To do that, open Server Manager. Click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. Select Role Base or Feature Based Installation and then click Next. We want to install the NPS Server role on Local Server. Hence, choose SRT22-NPS01 from the list of servers within the server pool. After selecting the target server, click Next. Select Network Policy and Access Services. If you are asked to add additional features, then click Add Features. This will add all the necessary features for NPS to function correctly. Click Next. Click Next because we don't require any extra features at the moment. On this page, we can read brief information about NPS. Click Next. We can see the summary of the role that we are going to install on the local server. Review the details of the rules and click on Install. The installation process has begun and will take a few seconds to complete. In the meantime, let's create a security group in Active Directory that we will use in the NPS connection policy. Let's go to our domain controller VM. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Create a new OU named Test2U. Under OU, create a new security group named Wireless Users. Under OU, create a new user account named Test User 1. Now let's add Test User 1 to Wireless Users group. After creating the group and a user account, let's go back to our member server VM. Installation is completed successfully. Click on Close to close the wizard. Once the installation is complete, the next step is to configure the Radius Server. Click on Tools and select Network Policy Server. Let's maximize the window. Right click NPS and click Register Server in Active Directory. Click OK to authorize this server to read users' dial in properties in Active Directory. Again, click OK. Now, this server can read users' dial-in properties in our Active Directory domain msftwebcast.com. Let's start the Radius Server configuration. Under Standard Configuration, select Radius Server for Wireless. 
click on configure 802.21x. Select secure wireless connections option and click next. Now we have to define the radius client which is going to use this radius server for authentication. Click on add to specify the radius client. Type friendly name for this radius client. Then enter the IP address of your router or access point. In this example, I am going to type 172.18.72.1. This is the IP address of my router. You have two options to set up a shared secret. You can either manually enter a secret password or choose generate to have a shared secret password automatically created. In this example, I will select manual option. Now I have to type a shared secret password. Let's confirm the shared secret password. Now click on OK to add this radius client. Click next to continue. Now we have to configure an authentication method. Click on drop down menu and from the list select Microsoft Protected EAP. If you want to configure the settings related to Microsoft Protected EAP, click on configure. Here as we can see a certificate is selected from our root certification authority. Click OK. We are not going to modify any settings related to certificate. Click next to continue. Click on add to specify the user group. At this moment I am not going to specify user group as later on I want to show you how you can modify the connection policy. I am going to click on cancel. Click next. Again click next and click on finish to complete the configuration. The radius server configuration for wireless client is completed successfully. Let's verify that. Expand policies and click on connection request policies. Verify that the secure wireless connections policy is at the top of the list. Click on network policies. Verify that the secure wireless connections policy is at top of the list and that the access type is set to grant access. If you want to modify this policy, just select it, right click on it and select properties. Go to conditions tab and here we can see wireless option is selected. Let's click on add to add another condition. This time I am going to select user group. Click add. We are going to add a security group as a condition. So only the member of that security group can authenticate using this radius server. Click on add groups. Type the name of the group which is wireless users in this example. Click OK. Again click OK. Now the second condition is also added. If you want to modify authentication method then here you have the option to modify those options. After modifying the settings of network policy, click on apply and OK to save the changes. Already we have defined the radius client settings. But later on if you want to modify the radius client settings, expand radius clients and servers and click on radius clients. Right click on our radius client and select properties. From here we can adjust the radius client settings as required. Click OK. The radius server configuration is now completed. Our next step is to set up router to use this radius server for authentication. Open web browser. Type URL 172.18.72.1 and hit enter key to access router homepage. Enter password to log into this router. Click on advanced. Click on wireless and then tap on wireless settings. I'm going to assign a new SSID for this wireless access point. I have entered Amacepti Webcast as our SSID name. Now change the security type to WPA, WPA2 Enterprise. Set the version to WPA2. Encryption mode will be changed automatically to AES. Now enter radio server's IP address which is 172.18.72.51 in this example. Keep the radius server port to default 1812. Now we have to type the shared secret password. 
you can change mode channel and channel width as per your requirement i'm going to click on save to save the settings settings saved successfully now let's try to connect to our wireless access point to test the radius server configuration click on network icon tap on msft webcast and click on connect this will ask us to complete the authentication type domain username user1 at msftwebcast.com and a user's password and click ok to connect let's wait for the connection to establish the connection is successful we have successfully connected to our access point with SSID MSFT webcast using WPA2 Enterprise. We have used Microsoft Radius server for authentication in WPA2 Enterprise wireless authentication. That's all for this video on how to configure Radius server with NPS on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.